Thank you very much for joining us on your champion station, Holy Health Radio. The program is Echoes of Grace. For, for, from yours truly, Adam Best Uncle Marie, someone right here. Mr. Chris Aduteria is the producer of this program. The name of the program is Echoes of Grace. Mr. Is the one controlling the machines for us, of course, the CEO of Holy Health Radio. The previous program hosted by Mama uh, Kukua, that was Christo uh, Mwawareso. We thank God for his mercies, for his kindness, for all that he does for us. The fact that we are alive means that God has something in store for us. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because we are too blessed to be kissed. The fact that we are in Jesus means that we are super blessed. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to join us live here on Holy Hills Radio. The Lord told Abraham that I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. You see, God wants to bless us more than we ask or we even think. Because before you can be a blessing, that means that you have enough for yourself and more than enough. Otherwise, you cannot be a blessing to another person. So that means he's going to meet us exceedingly abundantly more than we ask or we think. I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. That is the word of God. Abraham was a Gentile. He was an idol worshiper. He didn't believe in the God of Israel. Out of nowhere, God caught him. The same way God has called us. He has called us, separated us from our families. From the idols that we used to worship. When I talk about idol worship, anything that is of importance to you more than God is your idol. For some, it's uh, the habit of drinking. Women can be idolatry. You can make an idol out of your family, out of your husband, out of your wife. God called us out of all these things so that he will use us to be a blessing. He will bless us more than enough blessing. The world is full of sorrows, full, full of troubles. Yesterday on Ghana Web, I read a story which made me very, very miserable. A blind woman was raped by somebody. The guy got her pregnant and then infected her with AIDS. What a sad, sad story. People need us to be a blessing to them. As Christians, we have a lot to do. A chart to keep we have. We have a lot to offer the world. The world is in darkness. He has called us to be a blessing. That is all. He has set us apart for us to be a blessing.
He said, Abraham, I will bless you. He said, I will bless you so much that you will be a blessing. Currently, as I speak to you, you are blessed. And God wants to expand your territory so that you will be a blessing to the others. You might think you don't have enough, but currently you are still blessed. And people must benefit out of your blessings. People are suffering. People are going through a whole lot of stuff. You have been set apart to be a blessing. With the scanty resources that you have, if you think that you are even poor, there are people who are poorer than you. Auntie Mama Lee says, Amen. Auntie Mama Lee deals with orphanage. And the letter that you give to her will support orphanage. God will bless you so much. He said, I have blessed you so that you will be a blessing. The money that God gave you did not give it to you for you to spend on yourself. And because Abraham was willing to share, God kept on blessing him. Abraham had a heart that was willing to share. This evening, I don't know the kind of heart that you have. But if, if you are going to be someone who wants to share, God will continue to expand your territory. He will continue to bless you. He will continue to give you more. He will continue to shower more blessings on you so that other people would also be blessed through what you do. This is live on your super duper radio station, but not your champion station, Holy House Radio, where we are making impact for Jesus. God called Abraham from nowhere. From a poor person, from someone who was worshipping idols and made somebody great out of him. The Bible says that we are supposed to inherit the inheritance of Abraham. I don't know where God has called you from. Probably from nowhere. You are nobody. But because you are a child of Abraham. He said the blessings of Abraham will come upon us. So that God is going to bless you beyond your imagination. Just as he blessed Abraham beyond imagination. And what he expects from you is that bless others. Mama Lee says, yes, who God bless you, Ada. Those kids need help. Pa. Most definitely we need to help them. God gave us money. God gave us resources for such people. And if you are going to use it to help other people, God will continue to bless us. From zero to hero, that is a, a, a story of Abraham. I don't worship a poor, dejected. God called him and set him apart. This evening, I know I want to tell you that you have been set apart. And God wants to shower his blessings upon you. And his primary aim of doing this is that you will be a blessing. Just like this guy singing. Landy oh, my God bless you so much. Oh, You've been called to sh to bless people, to help people who are close to you, to help even people that you don't know.
This word says, give it shall be given unto you. A good measure pressed down, shaking together, that shall men give unto your bosom. Once you give, once you are ready to sacrifice for people, once you are ready to do good to people, God will continue to show his mercies upon you. told Abraham that I'm going to make a nation out of you. Way beyond the expectation of Abraham. A nation out of Abraham. He said in you the whole world will be blessed. The descendant of Abraham are mighty on this earth. But the greatest descendant is Jesus Christ who came from out of Abraham. Through him the whole world has been blessed. That if you believe in Jesus you have life. goodness, Abraham, Abraham. Abraham is a model, it's a type of us. Because we were just heathen. We were people who were outside the presence of God. And he had mercy upon us. And because of the mercy that he had had on us, we also need to show mercy to people. Mercy, 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 mercy. The ability to forgive people, the ability to show kindness to people. People are suffering in this world for no reason. They just, they just came into the world like that. They came into this world disadvantaged. Until the Mama Lee says, the eye, the eye of the Lord orphanage. Exactly. They need help. Please help. You can get in touch with Holy Hills Radio. 614-312-2289. This program is dedicated to the Eye of the Lord Orphanage, uh, which is in Atu Otuase Adwejiri in Sanwem. <laughs> and Sister Lydia is their correspondent here. She is in charge here. <laughs> Just bless people and God is going to take care of your business. <laughs> Give to people who will not even see you to say thank you to you and God himself is going to appreciate you. God himself is going to bless you. bless you so that you'll be a blessing. You came to America that you'll be a blessing. You had your health so that you'll be a blessing. You had that good job so that you'll be a blessing. All the good things that are happening to you, the things that have, you have been blessed with, it was not given to you for you to spend on yourself. The eye of the Lord offered me. At Otuase, Adwaje, in Samuel, needs your help. This program is dedicated to them. I hope they will see it. They will watch it. God bless you all who are working over there. And God bless you, Lawyer Afropon, also. For allowing his Alidia to do such a good, good job. From the eye of the Lord of an each home. God bless you. Give, give unto God. When you give to orphans, you have given to God. He said, once you did it for the least of these ones, you have done it unto me. You have some things, you have some time, you have some money, you have some talent that some people need. And God, God wants you to bless somebody. What is life if it's not shared? So that is why Holy Hills we exist. To make impact. That is it. 
And that is my motto of eleven. That I will make impact. That I will touch people's lives. That is it. Their program is the Coast of Grace on your super duper radio station, the coach of the airwaves. Besides, the Pinto is the one controlling the machines for us here. Of course, the CEO of Holy Else Radio. Mrs. Pinto, God bless you so much. I want to salute all the men in the region. COP. Maximizing our potential. God bless you. We had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week. The convention was superb. You've been blessed. You are so blessed you have no idea. Comparing you to somebody somewhere. You cannot even feed three times in a day. You have enough to eat and to spare. He gave you this life, not for yourself. You could have been dead a long time ago. You could have been dead a long time ago, but God. But go. Not because of anything. I wanted you to laugh so that you have impact on people's lives. My goodness. Let God be your supplier. Let know that even as you give, He will Himself will take care of your business. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross? Despising the shame and is now seated at the right hand side of God. So consider in who endures such hostility from amongst men, lest you become weary in your thoughts. Abraham, I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. He was going to use him as a channel. His main aim of blessing Abraham was not for himself, that he will be a blessing. This program, like I said, is dedicated to the eye of the Lord of an age home. To I say a dwejiri in Samoem. All the people who are working there, God bless you so much for the sacrifices. God has seen it. From nowhere Abraham was called. From nowhere you have been called. In spite of all the sins that you have committed. In spite of all the mistakes. God has had mercy on you so that you have mercy. It's not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but it's God who shows mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. You are the new Abraham. You've been called, you've been blessed. And God is continuing to expand your territory so that you'll be a blessing to other people. I 
And he told Abraham that through you, the whole world will be blessed. God wants to bless the whole world through you. The little world in which you are, the little family in which you are, the little church in which you are, God wants to bless it through you. That small kindness that you are doing, God is going to use it to touch somebody's life. And as you continue to allow God to use you as a channel, He's going to expand your territory. The Bible says Cornelius or somebody who was given arms. So God sent he sent uh, Peter to go and see him. The little things that you have been doing for God, God has noticed it. In the book of Revelation, it says, I know your works. looking for people who are ready to be used. People who are ready to be vessels. This evening, would you make yourself a vessel? was giving arms. Cornelius was helping people. And it's called the attention of God. Who are you helping? Whose life are you touching? Who are you advising? legacy that you are living for the world? What is the impact you are making in this world? Who is benefiting from you? Tonight my mission is simple. Who are you impacting? Who are you touching? Again, that was your super duper radio station. I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. Simple. If you are not ready to share with people, how can God bless you? His main reason of blessing Abraham was that Abraham was going to share with other people. So that he will give you more than enough. If the mentality is that I want God to bless me so that I will spend on myself, believe you me, it's not going to happen. So he will give you a seeding abundantly, more than we ask. A seeding abundantly. These are two powerful ways. Because a seeding alone is big. Abundantly is big. And in Ephesians 10 verse 20, he gives, he gives both. He's going to shower his blessings upon you. And he wants to know your heart. Are you ready to share with people? He who is faithful in little will be faithful in much. How, how are other people benefiting from you? When was the last time you gave even to your own mom? To your sisters? When was the last time you gave in support of an orphanage?
If you have a heart that wants to share, God is ready to deal with you. I will bless you, Abraham. I will bless you. I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. You will be a blessing. Blessed to bless. The knowledge that you have, are you sharing? The bad experiences that you've had, are you sharing that bad experience to advise somebody? When Jesus fed the 5,000 people, he made a crucial and a pertinent statement. He said, let nothing be wasted. Even the mistakes that you did in life, you have to share with somebody. Let nothing be wasted of your life. And the good things that you have done and the blessings that you have received, you need to tell somebody about it. They overcame by the word of their testimony. How far God has brought you. It's a testimony on its own. Again, it was live on your super duper radio station. Blessed to blessed. Through you, God wants to bless the whole world. He said, I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. to channel his blessings through you. I'm about to wrap up. Are you ready to share with people? Are you ready to share your experience with people? People come cross so many will be coming your way live. Mary Rosemont and her crew. Are you ready for God to use you as a conduit to extend His blessings to other people? Are you ready to sacrifice for other people? On else Radio, we are making impact for Jesus. Who is benefiting from you? I will bless you so that you'll be a blessing. Through you, the whole world will be blessed, he told Abraham. You are supposed to inherit the inheritance of Abraham. Once again, the eye of the Lord orphanage home is looking for help. You can contact Holy Hills Radio. My name is Ada Bismarck of Marie Somoa. The Secretary of the Terror is the producer of this wonderful program. Mr. Pinto is the one controlling machines for us. Of course, our CEO, Holy House Radio. The next program is Paper Concourse. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get Muchas gracias, amigos. Until next week, I'm out.